So last week, while I was doing my little pigeon demo, I think, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that my goal right now is to conquer the crow pose. I'm doing a 30 day challenge to master it and I'm using um, yoga with Adrienne. She is phenomenal. You can catch her videos on YouTube and also Amazon Prime. And she does super targeted um, courses where she focuses on a specific body part. So if you wanna just focus on your core, if you wanna focus on weight loss, she's got those. And she also has individual um, courses or you know recordings that are focused on specific poses. So she has one on crow. And I'm gonna jump right into the crow, but for people who are um, yogis, don't worry, I already did the Yoga with Adrienne um, class on the crow pose, so I'm fully warmed up. Um, arms are good to go because for crow prep, you have to do a lot of arm work and a lot of core work so that you can really get that strength and that balance up and running. So yes, I'm gonna jump into it, but don't worry, I actually did my warm up before. So, don't blink because you might miss it because like I said, super new at this and I'm not doing the whole two minute crow situation at this point. I can just get up. I had a total breakthrough today in yoga class. We were in one pose, I forget which one. Oh no, we were just doing a squat. And the teacher was like, hey, if you wanna play, go ahead and play. And so I figured, you know what, I'm gonna play with crow. And I actually did it for the first time in class. I was so excited. I felt like when my niece, Tiana was a little baby and she had just started to stand on her own. And I'll never forget the day we were in the living room and she stood up and she let go and then she started clapping and then fell because, you know, balance. So that's how I felt. Um, I never really tried it in class because when I was trying it at home, I still couldn't get my legs up and quite candidly, I definitely did a couple of face plans and that's okay. I'm cool with it because I did it at home where no one but me is aware of it, except now I just told you about it. Anyway, let's get into pro. So, start like that, come up. Like I said, don't blink, you might miss it. And that's my pro! I'm pretty sure that's the longest I've ever held it for. Now, as you get more advanced, then you can actually straighten your arms. And then there's all kinds of other variations for the people who are super advanced. And like I said, that's really cool. One of the really cool parts about sitting in yoga class and doing yoga in a class where you're with different levels because you see the people who are beginners like me and we have tons of people, sometimes actual instructors sit in and you can like really get that inspiration and you can see what the next um, phase is. And I mean, some people are doing some crazy things. They're like on one arm in some of these poses, but it's super awesome to watch. And I am going to continue kind of video chronicling. I don't know if that's the word. Anyway, recording my yoga process and I'm probably going to continue showing you guys my crow work as I become more and more of an expert just at basic crow. And like I said, my next um, challenge is going to be mermaid, but I'm gonna continue working on crow. It's so it's gonna be, okay, I've got crow to a point where I can actually stay up, which I just did. As you can see, I can do it now, but working on, you know, straightening the arms out. And while I'm working on that, I'm gonna start building on mermaid because like I said before, I love to see mermaid and so I can't wait. I'm gonna post a picture of crow and mermaid so that you guys could see what, especially what mermaid is supposed to look like as opposed to the version that I showed you last week. Anyway, I'll be back next week with some other pose.